Cystic fibrosis, you know, uh, that's a devastating problem. Scar tissue in the lungs and stuff. What do you think scars tissue? And this is also tied to some lady that, that wrote me here and asked me about uh, uh, their seeing glass in her lungs and that maybe she got this from years ago. Well, it's hard to say what they're seeing there, whether they're seeing crystalline deposits of some sort, honey, or something like that. Uh, obviously, you know that you're very acidic in those interstitial levels of the lungs. Same thing here with cystic fibrosis. Same problem. What you're going to do to remedy this problem, right? You're going to get into the body and fix it. You're going to move that lymph system. You're going to get these acids out and get that body highly alkaline. Cystic fibrosis, all these problems, you need to be as raw, 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 raw because the more raw you are, then the body can chew up the scar tissue and build it back up. I would use my lung formulas. Uh, lung number two, I love that one. Lungs number one and two, great stuff. Um, uh, and, and really hit the kidneys, the adrenals, the lymphatic system and really go in that way and you'll be good. Because that's the only way. Cystic fibrosis, it's a tough, tough situation. You just have to work that out there. This is a question on cystic fibrosis. Not a fun place to be, cystic fibrosis. I mean, just imagine the lungs being very cystic fibrotic. Uh, very uh, difficult. Uh, you can break through this, uh, but you got to stay high raw. Uh, definitely up in the fruititarian regiments. You want to use the three lung tea, and I would use lungs one and two. I would tear into my kidneys, my adrenal glands, uh, get my bowels cleaned up and get my lymphatic system a moving. Because keep in mind, your lungs have a lymphatic system, just a bunch of cells and two major fluids. I would be sucking down that three lung tea and breathing it in as an inhaler. You can use castor oil packs on the lung if you can drive it in deep enough. Um, Use the antispasmodic if you're having any seizure problems right now or any spasms, cramps, anything like that. Uh, go after your lymph system. So that's that power of acids. Same type of thing. We're talking about lungs here. Cystic fibrosis. And it's just that. Uh, a scar tissue and cysts. And you just have to clean out those lungs. Acids, acids, acids. It isn't the blood that's the problem, right? Nope, it's the lymph. So I would take off after that lymph. Always go after that lymph. Kidneys, adrenals, lymph. And I like a lymph capsule and I like a lymph liquid. That way we're killing, we're getting into the bowels and pulling and breaking that up. And then we're using the liquid to get into the body and move the lymph that way. Even better that way. Uh, the adrenals always have to be considered in kidney filtration problems. So the adrenals always need to be brought up. Uh, GI tract, always work on your gut. Clean up those bowels. GI broom, uh, stomach and bowel, lymphatic one, or capsules. Now I'll say this, lungs number two, you can also inhale and drink three lung tea. But you're going to have to get an end. With cystic fibrosis, you eat nothing cooked. Nothing. Absolutely no protein, anything like that, and absolutely no dairy products. Uh, he probably or she probably understands the gravity of cystic fibrosis, and I wouldn't wait one minute. I'd head off into that, into that raw food uh, regimen, and particularly on the fruititarian side. You want to move those limbs yesterday instead of tomorrow. On the road of detoxification, though, we run into an issue of detoxifying become too strong to the point where the medicines that actually help him breathe are being eliminated and are causing him more breathing problems. Well, here's the thing. You want to hit the adrenal glands with a glandular. This is another case where glandulars save lives. You get in there, you pump up those adrenal glands, which will pump up epinephrine and norepinephrine. This will increase the sympathetic nervous system response to breathing. want to do that. Now, very important here that um, 
that you get the antispasmodic. The antispasmodic, it wouldn't hurt to use brain and nerve number two with that, just to strengthen that nervous system. At the same time, use the antispasmodic as an inhaler because it relaxes the, the nervous system and allows for breathing but does not block expectoration. And that's really key here. You have to be careful not using inhalers or anything like that or using them very minutely because what are they well known for? Lung cancer, because they suppress 